The indirect function. The indirect function returns the reference specified by a text string. So, for example, if I ask this cell to equal the cell reference A4, it will go and find the value that's in A4 and put the value into the cell that I put the formula. So, for example, if I type equals indirect, then I open my bracket and I select the cell C2. So I don't want it to equal the value that's in C2. I want it to look at the reference that's in C2 and go and get the value that's in that reference and bring it back. So here you'll see the answer is 40. So it looked at the value in C2, which is A4, then it went to A4, found 40, and put 40 as my answer. We use indirect when we want to change the reference to a cell within a formula without changing the formula itself. Another way we can use indirect is by mentioning a row number and a column number. So, for example, if I type in equals again and I type indirect, this time I'm going to go with the cell reference, which is C3, put in my comma, and then I decide which kind of style I'm going to be using. I'm going to go with this one here, which is a row and a column number style. So I double click on that for the word false to go in. And when I press return, it will go to row 6, column 1, which is 60, and bring back 60 as my answer. Let's have a look at another example of how we can use the indirect formula. Here, I want to put in the value of the cell that's on the test sheet, column A, row 5. So if I go into the test sheet, column A, row 5, I see the answer is 500. So I'm going to do an indirect, and I'm going to ask it to go and find this sheet name, but then I need to join it to an exclamation mark. And then I'm going to join it to this column name. And then I'm going to join it to this row name. So it needs to go and find the test sheet, column A, row 5, and bring me back the value that's in that cell. So now when I hit return, it brings back the value 500. The nice thing here is if I change the values up here, it automatically changes the formula in here so it'll bring back a different value.